Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Respected brothers and sisters, kids, welcome to Madrasa TV show. I'm Sad Hamza. Today, inshallah ta'ala, in this show, we are going to be doing so many interesting things. We call this Madrasa TV show because a lot of you go Madrasa to learn these things. Well, today, inshallah ta'ala, we'll be teaching you not only what you learn in a Madrasa, but what you can and should and would. And if you can, you know, like a cool Madrasa. Look at that. Look, we're going to draw in a Madrasa today. Oh, we're going to draw, boys and girls. All right, after that, inshallah ta'ala, we're going to learn, we're going to go to a farmland. We're going to learn about creation of Allah, and then inshallah, following that, tajweed lesson, and a Quran session where every, each one of you will get a chance to call in and recite, boys and girls. This is your chance to correct your recitation. This is your chance to earn some badges, boys and girls, if you call in to recite. I'm going to gift you a bronze badge, silver, gold, extraordinary, well, depend on how well you recite. Don't worry, if you can't recite at all and you're hesitant to recite, to call in, I have a very good advice for you. Call me in and don't worry, even if you can't recite, I'm going to recite with you, like word by word. I would say, Bismillah, and you say Bismillah. Yeah, we can still recite together. Today, inshallah ta'ala, we'll be looking at verses from Surah Al-Fajr. I'll be teaching you a tajweed rule there, but that's later, that's later. First segment is going to be drawing segment. Are you guys ready? Well, I don't think you guys are ready because none of you have a pencil, guys. You need a pencil that is literally, uh, I mean, at least double the size of your face. <laughs> no. Get any pencil, inshallah ta'ala, any pencil, and get yourself some colors. See that? And even more colors. Even more colors. Why don't you just get all the colors in the world? And if you can't have enough colors, inshallah, get a pencil that can do, <laughs> a pencil that can do all the colors. You know what I mean? Look at this. And you see all the colors just here. Interesting. Today we'll be drawing something very, very, very exciting. Guys, I'm so excited. Come on, let's hit the share button. For those of you watching me live on YouTube, hit the share button right now. Hit the share button, hit the like button, share this inshallah ta'ala. I'm gonna share it with this group I have on Telegram. You can share it on a group that you have on your WhatsApp, guys. Absolutely free. Hit the share button, share this inshallah ta'ala. Maybe someone will click it by mistake and they end up liking the show and they end up joining the show. They end up learning something. Very good, and you get all the reward, inshallah. Let's go. Boys and girls, let me take you to our drawing class. Yeah, I'm going to start my drawing straight away. Let's have a look at what Bunny can draw. Oh, oh, so incredible. Oh, Alif, oh. <laughs> but the girls, I'm going to be showing you, inshallah ta'ala, how to draw a beautiful thing today. You know Kaaba? Kaaba, Baytullah, House of Allah. We drew Kaaba. That was the first thing we drew, remember? Al Kaaba al Musharrafa. Baytullah was built by will, was built by who? Guys, come on, give me some answers. Come on, guys. You know, you know. Shout out the answer if you can't type it. By the way, I'm live on YouTube and I'm gonna literally read your comments, guys. Let's see who's the first one who's gonna comment the answer. Who built Kaaba first? First, first ever time. Huh? Don't say builder. <laughs> Anyone who builds is a builder. But no, no, no. Who? Who built it? What was their name? Two individuals. Ibrahim alayhi salam and his son Ismail alayhi salam, Walter, Hussein, and Amira and Layal. Very good, very, very good. Ibrahim and Ismail alayhi salam, both prophets. They built Kaaba. How did they build Kaaba? So, if I were to get you to imagine, inshallah, uh, there, yeah. Have a look at this. So, this is the Kaaba, and let's just say you're building the Kaaba, so you start building that bottom bit. You're putting some bricks, stones, stones in the past. How do you get all the way to the top? Letter? No, there was no ladder. Hmm? <laughs> ladder. <laughs> Where would the ladder lean? <laughs> uh, lean on clouds? <laughs> no. So what, what was it that Allah Azza wa have sent them this, this stone? And so they would stand on top of the stone and the stone would literally act like a lift going up and down, subhanAllah, huh? like as if the gravity doesn't affect the stone. And so uh, uh, being on top of this, uh, this, this massive rock, they were able to build Kaaba. So the, the massive stone, 
Would you call it a stone or rock? I think you would call it rock. It would move, and so whoever is on top, they can build the Kaaba, yeah? So that's what happened. Now, this massive uh, stone, after they finished building the Kaaba, so here's the Kaaba, uh, Ibrahim, Ismail, and Islam, they finished building this Kaaba. What they did, the, the stone was right on the last point they built the Kaaba. So they finished, uh, what was the last thing they, they put in the Kaaba? The door, most probably. So the, the, the massive stone was right here, yeah? And it was kept there for many, many years. In fact, if you look at very, very old pictures of Kaaba, you would actually see a small dome next to the Kaaba. Hmm? What's that small dome? Well, there's a, the, the massive rock is inside the stone. Until later, they moved it here. They moved the massive rock here. And about 1416, at the time of Malik Khalid, if I remember correctly, he decided to cover it with the recent cover that you see when you go to Mecca. You see it in, in a, like a beautiful cage, which I'll show you right now. And so we call this Maqamu Ibrahim. Let's have a look. This is Maqam Ibrahim. Yeah? So the massive rock is underneath. Inside this, can you guys see? There is like a, it looks like a massive dome, but it looks like there's another dome inside it, like dome in a dome. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? And let me see if I can highlight a few things here. Bismillah. So this is the first dome. That's the second dome. And underneath this, right here, this might be a massive rock here. And you can go and have a look at it, yeah? So it was moved later on. So today we're building this. It looks like a very beautiful cage, isn't it? It's beautiful. We call this what? Maqam Ibrahim. Right. Are we ready, guys? Are we ready? Bismillah. So I'm going to draw this in literally four minutes. And I want you guys to draw it with me. I'm going to keep it very, very simple, inshallah ta'ala, so you guys can imitate or copy uh, whatever I'm doing. Are we ready, guys? Bismillah. Let's go to the table. Bismillah. Bismillah. Let's go to the table. Yalla, bismillah. I mean, a little bit closer. Uh, there. There we go. There we go. MashaAllah. Let's move the colors on the side. Bismillah. So, uh, what I'm doing here, I'm going to draw Maqamu Ibrahim here on this corner, on this side, yeah? Uh, again, my aim is to make it look cool, make it look nice. One, two, three, four. So four straight lines. Allow me to use a gray color. The gray color will act like a pencil. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four lines. Now, what I would like you to do is to connect these lines like this. Going up, straight, coming down. More like a mountain. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why later. Uh, guys, don't some of you uh, get stressed straight away. Uh, calm down, calm down. I'll tell you why. And here we have uh, uh, something, no, actually, keep it straight here. Keep it straight from here, yeah? I want to I keep it very simple. And then there will be uh, uh -huh, this. Bring it slightly out, more like a rectangular, but coming slightly out like this. And right from the top, inshallah ta'ala, it's going to be, aha, uh -huh, there we go. So don't draw a square here, draw a circle. I mean, half a circle or something, like, like a C. Now from here, going all the way to the top, mashallah, tabarakallah, this is where the dome the cage, the, the dome cage, call it, <laughs> ends. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. Nice, isn't it? Looks like a 3D model, maybe? Maybe. Okay, I would say right from the bottom, guys, unless you have drawn it with the pen, a pen already, curve it, like, draw it like curved like this. Huh? It gives it a very nice 3D animation, and uh, trust me, huh? by tomorrow, you're going to be called an artist if you do it like this. <laughs> now, the bottom bit is white and silver. Um, it, it, it's a marble, so it has some... Uh, design patterns on it, maybe? Yeah, maybe. So, a lot of uh, patterns like this. The bottom bit here, yeah, is a marble. And there we go. Keep it simple. Let's keep it simple, yeah? Now, the, 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 the top bit here is the beautiful cage, yeah, habaib. Uh, the beautiful cage, orange. Now, what's this? What's this? I want to try this out. Let me try this. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks fine. So the cage, I mean gold, I don't have gold color, I only have yellow, so I'm going to do this, yeah? Look at this. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. After all, my drawing is not that bad. You know, I thought I left school and my drawing became very, very bad. No, it's not that bad. So there we go. There we go, yeah? And the rest of it, I would say, um, there we go. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. 
and uh, the top bit here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a bit of a shade to it. So look at this. I'm gonna color this bit, slightly dark. This bit, again, dark. Hmm? Leave the rest quite light colored, dark. As if like there's a shadow from this side. I'm gonna do the same with the marble. I'm gonna do the same with the marble here. Leave the rest, yeah. And so the cage now, what you're gonna do, you're gonna pick a uh, yellow color. And you're gonna draw some design, huh? uh, some, something like, uh, like this. Try to make it symmetrical. I like this, draw some design on it. And so this is the maqam. Now right behind it, not behind it, slide it to this side, there's the Kaaba, Baytullah, yeah? So I'm gonna draw Kaaba, but it's going to be very blurred. Um, I don't want, uh, like, yeah, very light, huh? There we go, that's the Kaaba, inshallah. That's the Kaaba there. Yes, that's the Kaaba. And I'm gonna draw it very, very lightly, like very blurred, maybe just with the pencil. So this is like uh, obvious, uh, very nicely colored, and everything at the back with the pencil, or maybe with a very light gray color. I already used gray, so I'm not gonna use the gray again. Very lightly. So what I'm gonna do, let me finish this off, inshallah ta'ala, and I would love to see your drawing, guys. After a short break, we'll come back, we will continue. Stay with us, come back after the break. Don't go anywhere, salam alaikum. <laughs>
Assalamu alaikum, welcome back boys and girls to Madrasa TV show. We will continue with our draw with Hamza segment. And after that, inshallah ta'ala, I'll be teaching you so many different things. Let's have a good, quick look at the timeline, boys and girls. In this segment, I'll be teaching you about creation of Allah. But after we finish off our drawing, are we all ready? Boys and girls, let me remind you, inshallah ta'ala, for those of you who are drawing with me, you can send me your drawings on the WhatsApp number. I'm going to bring up the number again. We're going to keep it on the screen in the last two segments. You can take a nice picture of your uh, drawing and send it to me on the WhatsApp number. Make sure you add your name so we know the drawing is yours. Let's go back to our drawing segment. So, let's have a look at this. We're drawing Maqamu Ibrahim, and I would like you to take you guys back to my... Yes, I'll take you back to my drawing here. Okay, there we go, Bismillah. And we should continue this. So look at this, yeah, because I used the grey colour here already, I'm, I'm using it at the back to draw like a Makkah, like the rest of the masjid. But then I'm highlighting this with the black colour. And I'm only using the black color to make this even more stand out more. Can you guys see, as I add the black color, this looks like something at the front and everything else looks like, huh? yeah, as if they are at the back. So there we go. I don't think it has this, but yeah, it has a beautiful one actually. Um, it looks like this, this, and then, yeah, it sort of looks like this. Yeah, it looks like a dome. MashaAllah. So there we go, using black color, uh, to to highlight uh, these features in this and I'm using it on one side only as you guys can see Yeah, and I'm leaving the other side looks like as if there was too much light from this side So everything on this angle quite obvious clear rest of it is quite mm -hmm. you know uh, Maybe if you're using a pencil to draw uh, Whatever you're drawing right now what you can do you can just add a shade on this side uh, Anyway trying to teach you guys some drawing skills that I have uh, learned when I was in school. Um, nothing, yeah, nothing really. It's not like a master of drawing or something. Ha ha ha. So, stairs. You can come down and do tawaf. Of course, stairs. Yes. And if you pay attention to the images that you see coming from Makkah, you'll see it's quite orange inside here, yeah? Um, it has a nice brick. So, uh, anyway, if I start doing that, guys, if I start adding so much detail then the drawing would never end but what i'm trying to do trying to give a, an impression that there is a massive masjid behind this and i'm trying to do, do this with the least uh, colors as i can one color and i'm putting all the colors all the effort in here everything is at the back quite light and uh, blurry yeah barakallah feekum i've seen some artists yeah subhanallah Ooh, it is just amazing so they draw something massive, but then they each and every detail, ooh, ooh, and it takes them like months and months to finish one piece of drawing. So if I were to draw this, if I go back to this here, if I were to draw this with all the details inside this, yeah, I probably won't be able, I won't be able to do it on a piece of paper unless I'm using a very fine pencil then I won't be able to even show it to you here. <laughs> I mean, if I pick it like this, you won't be able to see what I'm drawing. But if I were to do that, like some professional artists do, it takes, takes uh, maybe half of your life <laughs> to finish a few pieces of art. And fine details, like small, tiny details. And when you do that, and then you look at the drawing from like far away, it looks, it looks almost real. SubhanAllah. And it's amazing because it looks like as if it's a picture from the camera, but it's not. It's actually hand drawing. I've seen a lot of artists doing that, drawing Masjid al-Aqsa, drawing Makkah with small, fine, little, tiny details. So what I did here is something uh, quite like a, huh? It's like cheating. <laughs> so if I go back here, what I did here is uh, maybe some details here and rest of it, just grey or with a pencil and that's it. Yeah, trying to... Um, yeah, I'm acting like an artist when I'm not. Boys and girls, may Allah bless you all. Send me a drawing, inshallah ta'ala, on the WhatsApp number. Let me see how did you draw your uh, Maqam Ibrahim. Add your name so I know the drawing is yours. Barakallahu feekum. 
Right, we're gonna go to our next segment, boys and girls. Our next segment is going to be quite an extraordinary segment. Let's go to the farm. <laughs> Smells, guys. Smells. Can you guys smell it? Hmm. What's it, guys? Today, inshallah ta'ala, we will be learning about one of the creations of Allah that Allah mentioned in Quran. But let me clarify something. You see? It's not nice, but <laughs> sometimes when um, some people tell you off, uh, they call you by name of um, animals, which is not right. Which is not right. Yeah? It is not from the sunnah of our beloved Prophet. And it's, <laughs> it's not nice, huh? It's not nice at all. You shouldn't do that. If Allah created you a human, then uh, yeah, you're a human. But sometimes we do that. And sometimes when we do that, we assume that certain animals, they are, you know, just bad. Just bad. Well, the truth is Allah Azza wa created everything and Allah created everything for a reason. Yes? Remember, Allah Azza is a creator. He created everything. So today we're going to learn about this animal that is uh, quite an extraordinary animal. But maybe you don't know about it. And I'm talking about our guest animal of this show is... Is... Well, hey! Donkey! Da da da! Alright, some of you already know the animal I'm talking about. Mm. Ah, okay. So donkey is an uh, animal. Mm? Yeah, uh, it's, it's an animal. As you can see, donkey has four legs, one tail, two eyes, uh, two ears. And uh, yeah, how do we write donkey in uh, Arabic? Well, quite easy. Himar. Al Himar means the donkey. Himar. Ha. Mim. Alif. Ra. Himar. I know some of you are laughing. Huh? But yeah. We'll learn about this animal, inshallah, yeah? Now, this is quite an extraordinary animal. Some of you may think, oh, you know what? Yeah, donkey, yeah. You know, just donkey. Just donkey. No, it's not. Allah created this animal, and this animal is gifted with some extraordinary things that you don't find in a lot of other animals. Yeah? First of all, it's called donkey. So it's special anyway. <laughs> but then we're going to learn about this. Have a look at this. Huh? In Urdu, Gadha. Yeah. In Urdu, we call this Gadha. Huh? Right. Let's have a look at this. Donkey is mentioned in Quran five times. It is also mentioned during the story of Uzaid. Interesting, isn't it? How many times it's mentioned? Five times, guys. Donkey is mentioned five times. Yeah? Wow. Now, I'll tell you guys some interesting things about donkey. You'll be surprised when you learn. Have a look at this. Donkey are stronger than horses of the same size. All right, let me just clarify. Some of you are going to say, oh, it's not a horse is stronger. No, no. You know, donkey is small. So if you were to bring a pony, a small horse, same size as donkey, donkey will be stronger, which means if I want to carry things on top of an animal, but I want the animal to be small, donkey is a perfect thing. I don't have to have a massive horse. Massive horse, and you got to feed the horse, and you got to look after the horse. It's, 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 it's a bit too much. Huh? Plus horse, yeah, it's quite horse. <laughs> it likes its own way. Anyway, huh? you got to keep him like a legend. Donkey is like, yeah, poor guy eats whatever. You give him a bit of water, doesn't ask for sparkling water or fizzy drinks. You just give him water, and that's it. Yeah, so in that sense, although it's a small animal, it can carry, it's as strong as a horse of the same size. Let's go back. They have been used as working animals for at least 5,000 years. Well, so you see, if it was quite useless, uh, no one would be using it. But we can see that in the history, people have been using this animal to carry very heavy goods for a very, very long time. And there are still a lifeline to families in parts of Europe, Asia, Africa, and South America. Quite extraordinary, isn't it? Now, when I want to talk to you guys about transportation, what comes in your mind? Do you know that a food that you eat in your house, rice, yeah? 
you know, it doesn't just fall from a heaven and comes in your kitchen and yeah. This rice or the roti that you're eating in house, although it's something very simple, it gets, huh? There are some people who are growing it. And from there, they have to carry it to a massive factory. And from there, they clean it up and all of that, put it in bags. And from there, they have to put it on top of ships. And from there, they unload it from ships and then put it on trucks. And then from there, it comes to uh, some local stores. And from there, you go with your dad and you buy. Quite a long process, isn't it? Now, donkey does the same thing. He'll carry the thing for you. So in a lot of countries, they still use donkeys to carry things from. It's free, isn't it? Like donkey doesn't, you don't have to put petrol. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's go to the next slide here. And we can see ayah where the donkey is mentioned. وَالْخَيْلَ وَالْبِغَالَ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ وَالْخَيْلَ وَالْبِغَالَ وَالْحَمِيرَةِ لِتَرْكَبُوهَا وَزِينَةِ وَيَخْلُقُ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ He also, Allah Azza wa Jal, created horses, uh, mules, and donkeys for you for your transportation and adornment. And he creates what you do not know. Quite interesting. I got to speak to a farmer once upon a time. And he said it's quite extraordinary when you have uh, these animals. They literally eat whatever is grown, you know, on the earth. Whatever. You don't have to go and buy them special food or something, no. And although they're just eating whatever, huh, when they use toilet, <laughs> it's actually good for you. It's good for the land. Plus, they carry stuff for free. No petrol, no maintenance, none of that. Interesting, isn't it? Subhanallah. It's creation of Allah. I'll see you guys after a short break. Stay with us. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>
Welcome back, boys and girls, to Madrasa TV show. Let me take two moments to remind you, inshallah ta'ala, our first two segments were drawing segment, and we also learned about a creation, a creature that Allah has created, and that is the donkey Himar. Now, I want you guys to share your notes, show me your drawings, show me what you did, show me if you took any notes by taking drawing, inshallah ta'ala, on a paper, or maybe you just took some notes. But make sure you send me your notes on the WhatsApp number that you see on the screen. Take a nice picture of your work, uh, add your name on it and then send it to me inshallah ta'ala on the whatsapp number now there's a studio line number we also have a whatsapp number these are for you to call in and recite well today inshallah ta'ala we're learning surah al-fajr verse number 17 to 23 i've got a very important tajweed rule to teach you in this segment so pay attention but let's go to our tajweed class first <laughs> Welcome guys, welcome. Let's recite together and I'll teach you an important Tajweed rule. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Kalla balla tukrimun al-yateem Or you stop. Kalla A quick clarification, this alif is not red, so jim is red with ya, g wa a yeah, barakallahu feekum. The tajweed rule I want to teach you here is, the la'a that comes after a mad that has a shadda on, so have a look at this, this is a mad, but after this mad you don't see hamza, which is quite rare in Quran, most mad in Quran, followed by hamza. Mad and then Hamza. Mad and then Hamza. Well, not this one. How do we read this? We stretch Ha because of the Mad. Da Ha Duna. Now I paused it there to show you that I'm actually reading Da twice, the letter Da. One more time. Da Ha Duna. It's very important that you put some emphasis on a letter with the shadda, which is thought here. And you make it heard twice. It's very important. A common mistake that people make is that and it feels like one thought only. Very important. In Surah Al Fatiha. No. Put emphasis on Dad so we can hear it twice. Here. You must make it heard twice. May Allah bless you all. Right, 
right, so Bunny came in earlier to show you guys the number they need to call, guys. We have a WhatsApp number. We also have a landline number. Call me in now if you wish to recite. If you call in late, there might not be enough time for us to hear your recitation. So call us in, in now, inshallah. We'll take the first caller, boys and girls, and it is going to be Rahima. Salamu alaikum. Welcome to the show, Rahima. How are you? Fine, Alhamdulillah. How are you, Asad? Very, very well. Who else is residing with you? Abdul Wazak and Ali. We, Ali Wida. Ali is residing today, guys. We'll start with Rahima. Rahima, give me the best recitation. Slow and nice recitation. Go ahead. Okay. من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كلا بل لا تكرمون اليتيم ولا تحادون على طعام المسكين وتأكلون Well done, mashallah, tabarakallah. A small line of feedback for you. Kaf. Dikra. Dikra. Just like we say, Bismillah. Dikra. Next caller. Assalamu alaikum. And it is Ali. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, Abdul Razak. Assalamu Abdul Razak, how are you today? Alhamdulillah. Hayak Allah. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Go ahead. Inshallah. Allah tabarakallah and here's a minor feedback. Wal malaku without bouncing lamb. Wal malaku soffan wal. May Allah bless you. Funny ran to get the next caller. If you want to call guys, give us a call inshallah. Now on the WhatsApp number or the studio line number. Ali, assalamu alaikum. Salam. How are you, Ali? How are you? Very well, alhamdulillah. And how about yourself? Um, please, can you teach me the Surah? Of course, of course. How is your holidays going? This is going good. Let's read the Surah together. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. One word at a time. Kalla. 
بلا تكرمون ال Come close to the phone so I can hear you nice and loud. Tukrimunal. Munal. Yatim. Wala. Okay, once again, Ali, come close to the phone. Make sure you're not on a loudspeaker so we can hear you nice and loud, yeah? Repeat after me. Wala. Tahab. Tahab. Very good. Duna. Duna. Ala. Ala. Ta'amil. Tu'amil Tu'amil Miskin Miskin Wata Wata Kulunat Kulul Nat Nan Turatha Turatha Aklal Aklal Lama Lama After a short break, Salaam Alaikum Continue with them after the break, yeah?
Assalamu alaikum, boys and girls. Welcome back to Madrasa TV show. Got some beautiful drawings to share with you. But after we finish with our reciters, guys, give me a call, inshallah, ta'ala. Let's continue with the segment. Hayakum Allah. Let's continue. The number is going to be right on the screen for those of you who wish to recite. We continue with Ali. And after that, we will take the next callers. Ali, assalamu alaikum. Alaikum wa salam. Hayak Allah, let's continue. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wa tuhibbunal. Tuhibbunal. Mala. Mala. Hubban. Bang Allah. A gold badge for Ali. Next caller is Amira. Those are lines are open for those of you who wish to call and recite, please. Assalamu alaikum, Amira. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, Ustaz Hamza? Alhamdulillah. And how are you, Amira? Good, alhamdulillah. Tafaddali, tafaddali. Okay, inshallah. A'udhu billahi. الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا كلا كلا بل لا تكرمون اليتيم ولا تحاب دون على طعام المسكين وتأكلون التراث أكلا لما وتحبون المال حبا جما كلا إذا دكت الأرض دكا 
ما شاء الله تبارك الله كلا إذا دكت الدرزة ما دكتو قرا بي كيفل أوف ماتس وقرا ستشتا معلي سفو كاونت سفو كاونت and some مدود six count so four counts minimum next كولا السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته and who's calling Mariam Khan. Sarah. Sarah, how are you? I'm fine and hungry. Sarah, can you read on your own? Or are you going to read with me? I'm going to read on my own. Masha Allah, let's hear your recitation. Starting from Kalla Balla Tukrimun al Yatim. Make sure you're close to the phone, not on a loudspeaker, so we can hear you well. Go ahead. Allah, tabarak Allah, boys and girls, wasn't expecting that. Well done, mashallah. All right, guys, I've got some beautiful drawings to share with you. The ones that I received from our students. I want you guys to have a look and see uh, which one do you think is the best. So we drew uh, Maqamu Ibrahim today. This is my drawing. I got a badge. Yeah. And let's see who else is going to get a badge. Are we ready, guys? Let's have a look. We've got some. Beautiful ones. Uh, let's start with the first one. Now we also had a segment yesterday, and I didn't show, ye I didn't finish off showing yesterday's uh, beautiful work. So I'm gonna go back to yesterday's work. Uh, yeah, I wanna take some time to appreciate the work. So here we go. Starting with this one. So common words of Quran. Uh, right. Uh, bunny. Uh, this. Uh, take it. All right. And we? Okay, because this is no longer a recite and reflect segment. So, uh, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, okay. Chalo, let's do it with that. Okay. Okay, let's have a look at this. Common words of Quran, every Monday we do this segment, and this is the notes from Maryam. Looks beautiful, isn't it? Incredible. Have a look at this. Algeria, Al Jazair. We learned about this. Uh, yeah, we learned about this. When did we learn about this, guys? Every Tuesday, I think we have a segment. Yeah, nice one. Move on to next one. Ah, Algeria's flag, something we drew uh, yesterday. Beautiful, incredible, incredible, incredible. Let's keep it going, let's keep it going. Ah, back of the flag, you can see some information about Al Jazeera. Here we have Amina. Look at the language they speak, the masjid, um, the, the capital. The population, mashallah, tabarakallah, very, very, very clear. Next. Ooh, mashallah, tabarakallah, boys and girls. Fatiha. Beautiful, beautiful Fatiha. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, mashallah, tabarakallah. 
Allah. Ha, this one gets it. Extraordinary Common words of Quran. And here we have one from, oh, someone forgot to write their name again and again. Beautiful, you can see all the notes, all the information about Al Jazair, yeah? MashaAllah. There we go, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, once again, once again. Ahmed, Ahmed, Hayakallah, Hayakallah, Ahmed. MashaAllah, Alek, beautiful one, Ahmed. Samiha, boys and girls, that was Samiha. Samiha, may Allah bless you. Right, have a look at this, guys. Fatiha, yes? Beautiful Fatiha, no, 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 no. And here we have Maryam Jazim. Have we done Maryam Jazim? Well, if we haven't, extraordinary, yeah? Ha! Huh. Amira, Ahmed, beautiful drawing. And here is a drawing by Jose. Hayakallah, Jose. Simple one. Fatiha, very nice, very nice. We have, uh, huh. there we go. Who is this by? Ha, huh. Tijan. Oh, no, that's someone else. Okay, they forgot to write their name and notes from our creation of Allah segment. Haymaur. And here is by Saliha, mashallah, tabarakallah, our dua segment. And have a look at this one by Saliha. Extraordinary. And then we have the donkey here. And this is by Ahmed. May Allah bless you. Barakallah feekum. We'll see you all tomorrow at 4 p.m. Until then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. La 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 la